Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 episode 7 of Girls Band Cry. Just gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I should have tried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right? I mean, you need a name in order to get the merch out. Right? Don't change the subject. All right, come here. Seriously? Honestly, yes, because you need a good behind name. Basically. <laughs> Yeah, but you could have also stopped her.
What? I mean, you guys could literally just name yourself. Uh, okay. Band. <laughs> yes, they surely did, babe. Her nails are pretty. Does anybody even know how to drive it? Oh! Girl, yeah, you didn't know how to drive a stick. I mean, I, I shouldn't be talking because I don't even know how to drive a damn stick.
Of course it's students. Oh, she got her expensive water. <laughs> That's so cute. So did we still figure out a name or do we not have a name? Maybe. Excuse me?
crack and then it's slowly going from color to black and white. Oh my God. Well, you know, just sometimes life. My thing is, how the hell is she going to get back?
Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's talk about this real quick. All right, number one, the situation of first Momoka literally saying once again, final performance, dropping out. Now, it's like, it makes me wonder, was she imagining that or did that truly happen? Because seeing the crack in the in the episode in the screen i loved how they did that because it's like you know you would think they're all on the same page but remember momoka does not really want to go to go against i mean i go against go pro because of her beliefs and everything else and she feels like once again if she does she's not going to be able to be that truthful spirit that she's wanting to be for like the longest time and such now nina Nina dropping out of school, and especially with Tomo even also talking about her backstory of her being in school, and then, you know, eventually also dropping out and going off on her own journey and meeting Rupa. Like, I was not, like, expecting the situation on Rupa and her family. That came out of left field, but oh my god, thank you for sharing that, because I'm like, yeah, these two, we haven't really heard anything about families, but here we go. Um... I'm a little mixed on her situation of Nina wanting to drop out of school. Excuse me. One, because of the fact is I get it, you know, as her sister coming in and giving her a little bit of advice of the situation and such. And having a father who was strictly like by the book wanting to do this ish. It kind of reminds me, um... It's a, this is a weird comparison to it. You know how, like, um, oh my god, what the freak is her, uh, Tommy Pickles' mom's name from Rugrats? I think her name was Dee Dee or something? Whatever his mom's name was. There was, um, this one doctor. So you know how, like, growing up as 90 kids, we had, like, you know, Oprah and Dr. Phil, um, and all these, like, freaking, you know, doctors on television or whatever that our parents would listen to. And sometimes, you know, we occasionally come in, you know, while they watch and you'd be like, oh, okay, this seems interesting. Let me also watch it as well. Well, for her, in, in Rugrats, there was a doctor or a character named Dr. Lichwitz or something like that. It's been a long time since I've watched it. And so her... In a way, all she would always buy the buy of like how of like how she would raise her kids 
by this person on by whatever he said and such. And so sometimes it was in good ways and in bad ways. Well, taking that initiative and also looking at Nina, her dad was very much once again by the book wanting to do X, Y, and Z and such. And so having a daughter who is not only, not only getting bullied, but she's also messing up in school, like the, his world is crashing. He, he doesn't know how to really communicate with her. And so seeing her lash out in front of him and he's just taking it and such and having a book on like, oh, what hundred things to do for your child, da 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 it's just, once again, he still doesn't know what to do. And there are some parents that are possibly like that. I'm not really sure on all parents because I have not met every freaking parent in the world and everybody has different teaching standpoints on how they want to raise their kids and such. And there's always a thing of you never want to talk to someone on how they raise their kids and such. But yeah, like definitely I got that Rugrats feel for, you know, Tommy Pickle's mom. I'm like, oh, okay. We doing that. Like, I mean, that's never happened to me, but Jesus, mm. I felt for Nina you know, once again, but I, I need them to really talk to her about this. I Like, I get it. It's the, oh, I can do both, but I get the point where it's like, there are times where it's like, the one thing that you're really doing is overtaking, like, studies and everything, and you have to kind of make that choice, and what if she ends up regretting it down the line? You know, there's a lot of things that could happen between now and then but we gotta wait and see until next friday though other than that guys that is my active view towards episode seven of girls band cry if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want to join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode eight but until then i will see you guys all next time bye